Hi, uh, today we will start our system performance and security chapter. So what is our objective here? Understand system performance. And describe uh, security domains. Describe system fault, explain system fault analysis, methods, explain benefits of maintaining system state. Describing networking resource concerns, describing data storage resource concerns. Okay, one by one we will complete all these things. So firstly, the system resources as self says, computing infrastructure is compared of roles, system that serve and system that request means two things are there, client and server. Who is requesting and who is serving? Okay, S uh, system infrastructure is com com comprised of roles processes that serve processes that request so um, we have also two type of the processes some processes are for uh, that is serving uh, some processes uh, you can say it is requesting like you have the two, uh, two server uh, nfs one nfs client is running and the one server nfs server is running the client process is requesting and the server process is serving Okay, same for infrastructure is uh, uh, comprised of roles, accounts and that serve and accounts that request. And system resources and their use must be accounted for the policy uh, system, uh, system uh, securing the system. So next is the uh, security in principle, uh, security domain, physical security you are absolutely right in the, um, if you have not server it's a physical sh security should be there and nobody can uh, just come and uh, touch your server and uh, reboot anytime because uh, if um, somebody has a physical access of uh, your machine then uh, definitely he can whatever he wants he can do in the linux and local uh, security remote security personal security remote is uh, you can say if you have working from a remote location uh, in the remote, uh, on the network on the remote location uh, your security should be there nobody can anybody uh, it's uh, just like uh, like uh, you can say if you are able to log in on your machine it doesn't mean so anybody can log in on your machine uh, the password should be very restricted and you are low some other local and personal things also you cannot share your passwords with anyone security uh, in practice uh, by design the system services available resources by policy system preserves available resources and host only service you must only to uh, those uh, you must do i need or no to host this do you need or no to access this all these things should be there the monitoring system resources for vulnerability and poor performance like if uh, uh, somebody is trying to um, log in on your system your monitoring tool should be there he should be monitored properly and your system has their own monitoring like logs are there you need to monitor that logs according uh, so we have the fault analysis uh, fault analysis is just like we have the uh, asterisk command uh, is in the, okay I will show you uh, what the asterisk command will do uh, just like see here asterisk you can give an asterisk uh, I hyphen O is the output file output for file means where whatever the asterisk will do it will store into the one of the I am giving a tem and ls dot out means uh, uh, ls dot out is the any file you can give I'm just giving the ls command so you uh, should be aware what is going when ls you run the ls see here ls is just showing the list but in the background what it will do just cat that file the dmp ls dot out so uh, this is in the sorry is in the one i'm giving the less command so see here in the this is the in the background what it will do it will only bin ls will work then it will access some libraries it will uh, then open something and fstat uh, memory map is happening what I mean, currently in memory open read everything that is the, just like the concept the how linux it will just go up to ls so long things are there whenever you only pressing the ls okay 
so uh, these are the asterisks um, after that you can check the errors also in that okay uh, you want to just grab e dot uh, in that file slash tmp ls dot out so okay uh, a lot of lines at there where e dot is there okay you can also find something like error okay so like there is no right error ls output dot txt is game okay. error dot dot one is here grab if only two lines are there for this so if you see errors only so uh, these two lines it will showing the error so same thing is there if you want to go uh, more in depth you have to uh, very good in to the back and what's the uh, calls uh, system calls are there when you are uh, something you are running on your other things are the debug information you are talking about the start dot debug in the syslog so mostly what uh, we are doing here if you are talking about now going to the ls slash etc syslog so in this file uh, you can see all the things like uh, this the kernel okay right now it is hash uh, yeah this is the start dot info start dot info means every info uh, uh, it will be recorded into some you know, bad log messages but debug information is uh, is not there in the debug how you can uh, uh, just say the debug in about the debug information uh, debug is the uh, top of the priority uh, but debug logs are the very uh, you can say very fast and moving uh, logs so if I'm going here ctc syslog.com now I'm going here okay I'm giving one thing only uh, I kernel dot debug means whatever the logs are there after debug like we have done different types of logs are there uh, uh, first is emergency alert critical error warning notice info debug if I'm giving the debug then all other uh, logs uh, error uh, critical notice warning everything that everything will be recorded here that log kernel I'm giving only this one etc and now I'm restarting the service service is log restart yeah I'm shutting down the kernel and uh, system log and it will start it again one more thing uh, we have the application specific debugging also like we have uh, any application uh, that has the uh, debug option is available right now just like the uh, extended one service is there that is also a debug option if you go into sys uh, sys config gets in a d uh, okay so here uh, you can get if you want to uh, enable the debug option here nothing you need to uh, you need to only give um, one parameter extra option in that you need to just give one hyphen d what does it mean of hyphen is that just you are going to enable this debugging option so now you need to only restart the service uh, x in it t restart so what it means see here the debug mode is started here started uh, started in a service telnet uh, this one service started one x in debugging two when is the debugging mode is started so uh, go a little bit above see more oh wow was a good information you will get from here the debug logs is generated and so all these services are there it's enabled for all these services so what mm, the xnd service is managed like in these things uh, it is showing remove understood disabled service removing this one this time and these all services which are managed by xnd service uh, default instance is equal to 50 new group yes all the per after that it is taking uh, the time debug main loop active service is equal to one start is working one available service because right if you check you know, only one service i'm uh, in between i interrupted that one 
so it is not I'm um, again restarted it will take uh, more time in the meantime what I will do I will start one more session here